Hey, hello again, Internet. It's uh, Dave Walker. I'm here at the TV Tour in California. This is the Television Critics Association TV Tour, winter and summer. We're here at the winter tour looking ahead at new programming. The network's all come through uh, several days, a couple weeks. Uh, my guest is Tim Goodman, TV critic for The Hollywood Reporter. Thanks, Tim, for doing this. This is my favorite thing else so far <laughs> on the whole tour. <laughs> Two thumbs, way up. Way up. For, uh, Super way up. <laughs> no, I love this. We're not close enough. Save that for your review. Okay, yeah, I'm going to review this <laughs> in THR. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, so, uh, so what are you? What would you be watching right now if you didn't have to? And I know it's a ton of stuff to watch, but right. what, what would what would you be watching if you were just a civilian, say? Movies. <laughs> so, it's not, it doesn't really help our cause here, but that's no, I don't get to see any movies. Uh, there is so much coming. There's so much on right now, yeah. right? As we know, and that's our that's our clarion call to everybody to to watch TV, to stack it up on the DVR because there's too much TV and you got to yeah. catch it up. Too much TV. But I have a list of things that are coming up. Okay, cool. Perfect. Excellent. I think that's the thing. That would because, be valuable for our viewers, I think. Right. Because I think we would be assuming if I was to tell people things that are currently on that they haven't already read either one of our pieces <laughs> and took, right. taken notice <laughs> right. and marked them all down. I just assume everybody's done that. They've probably watched more of those shows than we have. Well, yeah, in my case, that's no doubt, sure. I know how none of them end, but I know how they all start. <laughs> right, exactly. All right. So there's a ton, on, I'm sure, that my readers have already gone through, but I have new stuff. Okay, please. Okay, big fan of uh, Vinyl on HBO. Yeah. Love it. Such a music fan, and uh, I watched the two-hour premiere of the Scorsese did and that's coming up it's fantastic yeah tv almost never gets rock and roll right and i i really liked it too i thought it was i thought it was really cool yeah and i i want to see more of that like immediately uh and roadies coming up on mm -hmm. showtime another rock and roll thing from car uh from uh, uh cameron crow yeah and i thought it, there was like a sweetness about it that was real cameron crow and that surprised me a little bit because you know that the world that subculture I don't think of as sweet. I don't either. <laughs> when he said it's like a family show about roadies, I thought, wow, all right. Maybe, I would like to see this. Yeah, maybe they'll all share their speed. <laughs> right. That's this big story. There about. was hand-holding, I think. And I'm not <laughs> sure that groupie holding, but I don't know about hand-holding. Yeah. No, I, I really liked it. Yeah, and I, I loved uh, Cameron Crowe's presence here in the TV tour. Yeah. I thought he was fantastic and makes me want to watch it. Um, another one coming up that I have not – I know nothing about the comic. I saw it in a theater – and I knew nothing about it after I saw it. It made mm -hmm. no sense at all. <laughs> but I do want to see more. And that's Preacher yeah. from AMC. Yeah, I thought their panel was really good here. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. And just the nutballs. <laughs> totally. I have no idea what's up. I don't know who's like on what side of the good and bad. Are they all bad? Right. But I, it was bloody, and it was messy, and it was funny, and I, and I liked that. You'll have to get your kids to text you to let you know what's happening in the right. show. Right, yeah. Just, you know, I hope so I... You'll be sitting in the same room. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I hope to God they haven't read the book or anything. <laughs> when I was gone, they're not that old. Uh, I just reviewed Teachers from uh, comedy on uh, TV Land. Big fan uh, of that. Yeah, I'm writing about that now, too. I really like the first episode that I saw, and... Uh, it, it's saucy for TV Land. It's like really good for them. For it's trying very to. saucy. You wouldn't think that they're rebranding to become less of kind of the doddering old yeah. person's network. Yeah, uh, yeah, I wrote that the lead into the premiere was like all day Andy Griffith bonanza, <laughs> and everybody loves Raymond. And it's going to be like whiplash. Right. Well, yeah. especially in the third episode when someone puts a bottle up their butt, <laughs> which does actually happen. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's coming up. Okay. Uh, but very funny. And mm -hmm. I, I watched the first four, and I thought that it was consistent all the way through. Really good. Uh, another one coming up, uh, a sister channel, TBS, TNT and TBS, a big revamp coming up. Mm -hmm. And one of the first pieces from that revamp is uh, Angie Tribeca oh. from Rashida Jones is the yes. star of that. It's yes. very police squad, if you go back that far. And I know mm -hmm. you go back that far. Sadly, yes. Uh -huh. and so I, I do too. <laughs> uh, and uh, so it's very slapstick, super silly. Mm -hmm. The more you invest in the silliness, uh, the better it is. And if I think on January 17th, they're putting up 25 episodes or something like that. And, or 25 hours of 10 episodes. And it's like... It's super fast. I mean, the pace of it's really fun and and uh, cool. I thought literally everything but the kitchen sink in, in every yeah, episode. Yeah. Very very silly. Just go with it. Um, I know one. This one you will probably like. Um, Night Manager on AMC. Love it. Yeah. Love it. I I just love the tone of it and the performances. And uh, you gotta love Hugh Laurie. You know, 
Amazing. Yeah, really good. And I thought about, I tried to get a chance to ask him what uh, elements of his character he's actually basing on his personality. <laughs> because they call him the worst person in the world, actually. In the show. That would have been a good question <laughs> for the session. <laughs> I think I said that on another one of these, but it's like my favorite thought that I never actually expressed. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen him, Hugh Laurie walk out. So that would have been good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, if, so I'm super looking forward to that. In the same vein, a little bit like that. It was like, I think it was on the same day we saw those when they came through. London Spy for BBC America. Yeah. I'm going to review that. Uh, ben was shot. This just looks fantastic. You know, the Brits do a lot of smart stuff. <laughs> I've read that. They're smarter cousins. I, <laughs> they do really good TV. I, I love the first episode of that. So I'm, I'm recommending that to people, too. It's very good. Yeah, I'm all over that. One I want to see also that's coming up that we saw here. Um, I'm going to review Outsiders. Oh. It looks crazy. Yeah, it, it, is, it is crazy. And I've written a little bit about that already. And... Um, it's another funny casting thing, but David Morse mm -hmm. plays like the baddest guy. Right. And he's so sweet in <laughs> real life. He is the nicest person. It is not typecasting at all. <laughs> there's ATVs and there are hill people and there's... <laughs> moonshine. Yeah, there's moonshine and there's violence yeah. and all over that. <laughs> and lastly, I think that this could really be something if you are uh, if you have the uh, uh, stars on the premium channel. I want to watch uh, The Girlfriend Experience. Yes. Right? So that yeah. was a uh, Steven Stoderbergh 2009 film being turned into 13 half hours. Yeah. Um, looking great. Yeah, it looks really good. And I thought their panel was really interesting, too, and, and was just way out front about what they're trying to portray without judgment. And and they sort of leave that up to the audience. But, uh, uh, you know, I think that'll be really, really cool and immersive. You know, you'll, you'll be in a world that um, I think you'll find interesting no that's cool i like all I, I just i thought that was great I, I thought they talked about directing and the directing experience and, the, and it looked fantastic and looked smart yeah and you know maybe you could get a girlfriend that way i, I, I might try that i might go that route <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> tim how can find you how can people find you in including perhaps uh, someone like a character from that show right, on, yeah. out, out in the internet and in the social media uh, how, how do people find your work d walker at aol.com <laughs> 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 no, I am. Uh, you can get me at uh, tim.goodman at thr.com. Uh -huh. And I'm online in the social world at uh, Bastard Machine. Bastard on, Machine on Twitter. On Twitter, yeah. Which is really not uh, anything about my personality or behavior. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just a, it's just a word. As your tweets prove. Mm -hmm. I'm, we are uncomfortably close. We are. Tim, thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we need to get closer. And thanks for watching. <laughs>